Although many businesses have been struggling to survive during the pandemic, bait and tackle shops along Alabama's waterways are doing okay. They've actually seen business boom as people hit the waterways. Many industries are facing unprecedented challenges, though, during this time. And tonight in our continued special reports, the new normal, we're looking at the impact of coronavirus on businesses. Morning News anchor Art Franklin shows us the battle for survival as Alabama reopens. You know, with unemployment rivaling the Great Depression at more than 20 percent, we can see just how devastating the coronavirus pandemic is on businesses across the nation and here in Alabama. In their battle to survive, businesses are evolving. And to get a sense of the changes they're making, we examine the new normal for Shelby County dentist. And now it's even more important now that we know this virus is still around and we don't know how long it's going to stay around. So, but on the other hand, we have to get back to life. So um, we're doing that in the safest way we know. Dr. Burton Gooch taking steps to not only survive the coronavirus pandemic, but thrive now that his dental office is back open. There's strict guidelines. I mean, they're very, very intense. And we're putting it, putting all of those into place and trying to even go above that because I think our patients deserve it. Arriving patients encounter a new experience. They wait in their cars until they're called. Inside, there are more hand sanitizing stations, social distance markings on the floor, all staff members wearing protective gear, and Gooch Dental even sent patients a video explaining what's new because of the virus. We took this very seriously before COVID-19, and we've added extra precautions since then. The video shows how each room gets a thorough cleaning before and after each patient and explains the enhancement to the air filtering system and UV lights to kill bacteria and viruses. That is part of the new norm that's behind the scenes that people can feel comfortable saying, okay, well, they're taking different steps to make sure and the investments to keep us safe because we don't know what's going to happen over the next year or so. But there's little comfort for so many businesses trying to survive in this COVID-19 economy. Hair salons, barber shops, hotels, and entertainment companies are seeing revenues plummet. Uh, one of the things that businesses are going to have to do is to move very quickly from survival to recovery and then to resilience. Dr. Anthony Hood is an associate professor of management in the Colat School of Business at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. A lot of that revenue is not coming back that you missed out on for the last two months. So now a lot of companies are going to have to change their business model. Or face shutting down. A Yep survey in the last two weeks of March indicated business closures increased 200%. What will it mean for the consumer's bottom line? Is it going to cost us more in all of the things that all of our goods and services? I think consumers should be thinking about having to pay more for goods and services simply because I think the price of things are going to go up. And again, I think a lot of business owners are going to be looking to try to make up uh, for some of that lost revenue. For many, that could be a recipe for business survival in this new normal. But Dr. Gooch says it's something he's trying to avoid. It's not about the money. It's about doing something that you were designed to do and your purpose and getting that fulfillment. Dr. Gooch and Dr. Hood both stress one thing about this new normal. They say there are elements of change that will not go away. And one of the keys of businesses surviving this COVID attack is customers accepting the changes as well. Art Franklin, CBS 42 News, with local coverage you can count on.